Hi, I'm Nadia and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today I'd like to share with you my not-so-secret setting lotion recipe for vintage hairstyles. Just to show you guys an example of the kind of curls I create with this setting lotion. I set my hair last night in pink curls, so let's take those out real quickly, right? My setting spray is definitely the secret to how I keep my vintage curls longer than a day and incidentally also make it worth it to pink curl my hair because if, it was, if this was only for a day it would be probably not worth it. If you'd like to see how to make your own super easy super quick setting lotions for all your heatless hairstyles not just vintage then please just keep watching. The two main ingredients that you're going to need to make this setting lotion are whole flax seeds and water. I start by adding one cup of water to my pan and then adding one tablespoon of flaxseed to the water. It's important to use whole flax seeds when you're making the setting lotion. Give that a quick stir and put on your heat until your mixture is boiling. When it's boiling, set a timer and let it bubble away for 10 minutes. Flax seeds are packed with good stuff like vitamin E, fiber and omega-3 fatty acids. This will make a nice and hydrating gel for your hair and gives me soft and frizz-free curls with enough hold to last me a couple days. It's also water soluble, which makes it easy to wash out when the time comes. There are no preservatives in this setting lotion though, so I tend to make a batch for the day I'm going to use it. But you could also keep it in your fridge for up to two weeks. While my gel is boiling, I'm preparing for the straining. I'd like to double strain my gel to make sure there are no fragments of the flax seeds left to block up my spray bottle. To do this, I first use a clean pantyhose and put that over my heatproof measuring cup. Then I place a mesh sieve on top of that. When my gel has boiled for 10 minutes, I pour it through my strainer and into my measuring cup. This is a lot easier to do when your gel is still hot. I give my sieve a few taps to get as much of the gel as possible out of the flax seeds. You can also use the back of a spoon to push out more of the gel. Finally, you can let it all cool down for about half an hour. I tend to make my setting lotion while making dinner. And actually eating dinner is the perfect amount of time to let my lotion cool down. Whilst cooling down, the mixture will thicken up a bit more. This is what it should look like in the meantime. As you can see, it's a light pink color and it has about the consistency of egg whites. After it has cooled down enough, you can pour it into your spray bottle. Since it has thickened up, I tend to stir it pretty well to loosen up my lotion so I can pour it more easily in my bottle. With that, your very basic setting lotion is done. If you want it a bit thinner, you can add some hot water and shake well. There's also a ton of other stuff you can add, but for this batch I'm just adding a pump of hair oil for some extra hydration and calling it done. Give it a good shake before you use it and enjoy your curls. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch my video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye! So my homemade... So my homemade... Uh, so my homemade... Homemade. Ooh.